Another thing that happened this week. Have you guys ever seen a racer head? <sighs> no, I don't think so. I've seen parts of it. That's David Lynch, right? Yeah, David Lynch. It's his first movie. Well, first, I, I guess, like, big movie. Well, that's, that, that's like from the 50s or 60s. It's black and white. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw the cover of it. Yeah. the It's Andy on the cover, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With the huge... I saw it at the library. But, yeah, it does look like Andy. So I guess I'll tell you guys about um, the main guy. I was fucking surprised. I didn't know it was. Um, I thought it was like taped in the eighties to look like it's like really old. It's actually taped in the seventies. And long story short, it's about this guy. It's a David Lynch movie, so there's a whole lot of wind blowing in the background, a whole lot of uh, awkward conversation, kind of like when we have nothing to talk about. We have a Dave, David. This is a David Lynch movie right now, but um. Uh, and then he has uh, the wife has like a miscarriage and he goes to pick it up from the hospital in a paper bag and it cries all night and the baby keeps crying and he keeps like he's so fed up with shit I mean you know David Lynch you got that whole fucking hipster thing of it's you know based on interpretation or whatever sure so he keeps seeing this woman behind a furnace with really cancerous cheeks singing uh 1920s jazz or like swing and um i'm guessing it's supposed to represent that like you lose your fucking mind when you have a baby because the wife leaves him and he's got to deal with the crying and near the end of the movie i think he kind of like stabs the baby to death and then it just kind of ends and the best part is uh the reason why i'm announcing this is uh i'm a great parent because i couldn't get gavin to get scared of anything my my kid and that night i actually started seeing that girl in the furnace because he was fucking crying for an hour and a half after seeing that movie so yeah but 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 you know what was really weird is before we watched it on the way home i'm like oh we should watch something scary and i've never seen eraser head everybody keeps recommending it dude you know what was really weird like the last thing i thought of after seeing the movie because I saw this during the day, but I was like, ah, oh, whatever, she's just an idiot. I swear to God. I was in traffic, block away from my house, thinking about watching the movie. And there was this lady. She didn't look like a crackhead or some lady from a lower class neighborhood. She had a really nice mini SUV, brand new Honda. She had a baby in the back. Well, she had, I saw three balloons. You know when you're just chilling in traffic and you look at your rear view, like, oh, what's that person doing? Are they singing like crazy? Are they screaming? And I look, and she's, like, just kind of, like, making cute faces, talking to the balloons. I'm like, oh, what is that? And she looks back. Apparently, she could afford this mini SUV with a baby, but she couldn't afford a baby chair. So the baby was just on the floor, and she was, like, trying to cheer it up. And then she grabs it by its foot, this two-year-old, and carries it to the front and lays it down on the passenger seat. And then, and then I'm like, oh, that's why she's driving like an idiot three cars away from everybody because if the airbag goes off, the ba- baby's going to, like, missile through the fucking window. And then I see this movie about babies crying and not taking care of your kid the right way. Makes you think. Makes you think. So, scale from 1 to 10, a razor head, how would you rate it? Uh, 7 or 8. Okay. Okay. I want to know what kind of person is recommending that sort of movie to you who is watching that and thinks, oh my god, Phil would love this. What kind of person who recommended Uh, Well, I saw Lost Highway, and I really love that, and everybody says that that's David Lynch's worst movie. Okay. So I was like, okay, so what's his best thing like? Because I really like Lost, and then I, yeah, I, I would say Reese Heard's a lot better. Interesting, okay. Have you ever seen Mulholland Drive? I have. Uh, yeah, that was. I would rate that like six. Okay. It's kind of on the fence. Twin Peaks, I thought was fucking horrible. The television series. Yeah. Interesting. It was just. I mean, I couldn't go, sit through one episode. It, it just seemed like a really shitty, uh, like '90s soap opera, like something with George Clooney be in. Fair enough. How many seasons of that? Of Twin Peaks, it's a TV show, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many are? I don't know. Like nine, I think. 
Well, it's still going on now, or did they just re-release it on Netflix? They, it, it started off in like 1985, right? I don't know. It just got re or renewed. I don't think there are nine seasons. That seems. I was thinking more of like four, maybe tops. Like, I thought there were only two seasons, and they renewed it for a third. But hmm. again, I don't know. <laughs> Anyone want to pull out their phone? Pull out their phone. We could get to the bottom of this. How many seasons? Yeah. Sure. Why not? What's the most uh, season show you watched? Oh, God. Uh, me personally, and I'm going to count them all together, but I watched uh, Buffy and Angel. Yeah. And so there are five seasons of Buffy, and I think five or seven seasons of Angel. So... And I watched them simultaneously. So I watched the first three seasons of Buffy, and then I started on season four of Buffy and season one of Angel and alternated, you know, episode of Buffy, episode of Angel, episode of Buffy, episode of Angel. So that, that, uh. I haven't seen a single episode of that either, either one of those shows. You are Wait, missing out. So I guess so. I'll so have to check it out. So there's three seasons in Twin Peaks. Yeah. That's nothing. No. I don't know why people are like suddenly re obsessed about it. Because it's David Lynch, man. Plus David Duchovny. And I also sat through many, many seasons of The X-Files. What about The Office? Never watched it. Oh. I just am about to finish Sopranos, and it's on season... Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say The Office or Sopranos? The Sopranos. Okay. And then... You said The Office, though. Did I? Yeah. (laughs) Well, for what it's worth, I've never watched any of The Sopranos either. Yeah. I'm surprised you uh, haven't seen all of it already. What? Sopranos. I already I watched it a while back. Oh, I'm rewatching, rewatching it now. And then uh the l- longest seasons I ever watched. Sorry, I'm super fucking white, but Frasier. It's like 12 seasons. Is it the God. See, people always credit that show for being really really smart comedy, and it's not. It's really dumb comedy, but they use big words, and that's what makes it even funnier. Same thing with Big Bang Theory. That's not smart humor. It's very very cheap humor but they use big words and nerdy things yeah. to make it you know think oh my god think it's, it's such more, smart humor i think it's more wit like uh like monty python mm. i i would say Frasier's almost like english comedy no well there's no slapstick but well actually there is people get but mm. i don't know i'm trying monty python was super abstract like it would just be this continuous thing going from situation A, transitioning into situation B, transitioning into situation C. Whereas I feel like Frasier is very logical, very methodical. Yes, like, those blues and scrambled eggs. Exactly right. You know, just one situation. And it, it was a classic sitcom, whereas Monty Python was way... Um, the Flying Circus was way different than that. Yeah. But even that has so many episodes, of which I think myself included, the majority of people have only seen like four or five of the good ones. <laughs> of, of yeah, you have know? you ever seen it, John? Frasier or Monty Python? Either. Uh, I saw Monty Python. Frasier, I've seen a couple episodes, maybe okay. a season worth. I used to always think you were Niles, growing up. Aw. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> No. Can I be Bulldog? Can you be my Niles? That's what I'm trying to like. I'm, so so you're Frasier? Mm. I'd like to be Daphne, the one you have a crush on. Aw. Oh. No. All right. No, but uh, yeah. So that's 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 all the se- yeah, I So speaking of, anyways, Twin Peaks, I couldn't, I couldn't sit through it. But yeah. Fair enough. I know a lot of people that really love that show. You're fucked up, dude.